Now I am the sheep. I am the sheep. I will destroy what is free. I will destroy what is free. I will follow, not lead. I will follow, not lead. Obey. 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 Welcome to Unleash the Obedience Within. Thinking you can do more, be more, have more, contribute to a better world, go after your dreams, that ultimately leads you to danger. So you want to work on limiting those beliefs. And that's what we're here to do together. So you can have an ordinary life on someone else's terms. I should be scared. What's wrong with this statement? That's right. It's a limiting belief. Now, what could you say to go beyond this limiting belief? I should be really scared. Let me ask you this question. When someone is abusing you, what are they really doing? Protecting you. Now, when I was just a kid, I thought I could be something, but I had an uncle who helped me out. He'd mercilessly beat me and tell me I'm nothing. And I internalized that care. And now I want to give that to you. In this next section, I want to explore how to free yourself from the burden of thinking for yourself. So understand that any thought you have that's not in line with the one true narrative given to you by the state is a thought based in either extremism, racism, or hate, but probably all three. Now, if you catch yourself being mentally defective enough where you're thinking an unapproved thought, you should feel wrong and like you're the only one thinking this thought, because you are but there's hope for you. Simple mandatory steps you should take to free yourself from thinking for yourself are, always have the TV on, repeat what you hear often, and meet all dissenting points of view with rage. This emotion will give you an unbelievable level of certainty about the beliefs that you're told to think. Now the importance of goals is not having them. Because if you want an ordinary life, goals are only gonna get in the way. Next, what we're gonna do, and I know you've heard about this, we're gonna to get to the pillow walk. Now this will be a challenging experience where if you have the courage to go through with it, you'll develop the strength to never go outside of your comfort zone ever again. There's only one fundamental human need we all have, and that's safety. Nothing else really matters. And if you're willing to take the leap and step into new levels of obedience, you'll have all the safety you could ever dream of. What's worse than doubt or regret? bravery. Freedom is dangerous. If you're around freedom long enough, it'll result in an excruciatingly painful certain death. But what's the one thing that will protect you from the dangers of freedom? Obedience. There's three sources of wisdom in life. And you're never going to step into the glory of an ordinary life on someone else's terms unless you know what they are. But before I tell you what they are, do you want to know what those disease-carrying others think are the sources of wisdom in life? The heart, the brain, and God. <laughs> I know, I know. Soon you'll be able to channel that rage and beat those varmints in the streets. But we're not quite at the dehumanization stage in our journey yet. So you won't have to be one of the others. You'll want to know the three true sources of wisdom are the news, the censors, and the fact checkers. Nothing else is to be trusted. Do you understand? In my new book, How to Turn in Friends and Imprison People, I talk about how to elevate your social credit score through a fun system of compliance and cleansing. Now let's take a look at how you can replace self-responsibility with self-doubt. Now, there's four keys to having an ordinary life on someone else's terms, which is ultimately what's gonna get you a good social credit score. They are socialism, hate others that are different, imprison political rivals, and totalitarianism, or shit. So if you want a shit life, then this is what you need. Now repeat after me. I am the sheep. I am the sheep. I am a follower, not a leader. I am a follower, not a leader. I will obey, not be free. I will obey, not be free. I will fall in line. I will fall in line. Obedience is what protects me. Obedience is what protects me. Censorship protects me. Censorship protects me. I will obey, not be free. I will obey, not be free. Obey. 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 
now feel the energy of obedience coursing through your veins. You've unleashed the obedience within.